is somebody that can't keep their hands to themselves. I never understood how the math worked that if somebody calls you to be a word, you can hit them in the head with a piano. That doesn't even that doesn't even make any sense. And what she did right here doesn't make any sense right here. Yes, yeah, is for uh, former Florida State star Travis Rudolph is on trial for murder. His alleged girlfriend attacked him and then proceeded to text her brother to also target Rudolph. When her brother and friend showed up, one of the men was shot and killed, and now he's on trial for it. She took the stand, and uh, y'all are gonna hear what she has to say. Hey, what's Get off the screen here. Isn't it true that you were the first person to become physically violent when Travis with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all. Something or show me something. If you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments question okay so you were the first one to become physically violent with travis not the other way around answer correct yes that's correct you remember that yes so you smashed his iphone not out of anger but because you were hurt yes okay. and i didn't send my brothers to kill him no you just sent a text to go shoot up his shit right i, I didn't say shoot him you sent a text to go shoot up his shit right correct what Tell the jury what the shit is. When you're angry, you say things. I'm sure everyone in this courtroom has what said something when you're... I'm trying to speak. If you want me to answer your question, you have to let me answer your question. Well, if you were responsive... Four men arrived when Rudolph's girlfriend contacted them, claiming Rudolph had assaulted her after she found texts from other women on his phone, telling them to come shoot up the house. Were you aware before you left for Mr. Rudolph's house that your sister had smashed Travis's cell phone? No. One of those men, the girlfriend's brother, testifying he was throwing punches at Rudolph during the fist fight, but insisting no one pulled a gun and all four ran and got into their car. But did your sister tell you prior to going over there to have a talk that she hit him over the head with a trophy? No. Did your sister tell you before you went over there to have this chat that she smashed his PlayStation? No. Did she tell you that she picked up a tequila bottle and hit him over the head? No. Did she tell you that she called Tierney, his sister, and threatened to have him killed? No. Did she tell you that she called his mother? See, and I, I understand what my, my dog was trying to do. He was just trying to protect his sister. I mean, if, like, if somebody told me that somebody put my hands on my sister, ain't no telling what what I do. I may, I may do, I may pull up on them, you know, put some, give them a good stern talking to from what they alleged say they're trying to do. But I mean, I'm going to do something because, you know, you ain't going to just put my hand, put your hands on my sister, yet another, another female and they let me know. But I mean, right here just doesn't make any sense. Like the fact that they actually came up here, drove 30 minutes away because this is in West Palm Beach, Florida. They drove 30 minutes away to try to uh, try to see what was going on. And this whole thing just went left. They lost a whole friend out of this. It was four friends. One of the friends allegedly got shot. So this is the whole situation right here. That honestly, this Travis Rudolph person, he may get charged with this. Because after watching the Tory Lanez case we saw, even though uh, the per the person that they're talking to, they always goes on stage on stand, looks like a dirty, dirty, dirty person, somebody you'd never be friends with. It doesn't escape the point. With the the uh doesn't escape what the whole case is about. The case is: Did you kill this person? Did you shoot this person? Did you kill this person? Is it stand your grounds? And they're already saying that staying your grounds can't be used because he shot at 39 times. You can't shoot at 39 times and then you stand your ground. You maybe can shoot two times, but not 39 times. That's Innocent. A, you think it's innocent? Innocent. What? For real? Well, I mean, he was attacked at his house, which is his property. Uh huh. And if he's trying to take out the attackers, well, who's to say that two or 20 shots is what you need to defend yourself. Who who can put a limit on what you need to defend yourself, especially when he's facing multiple intruders when there was three, four men that were attacking him. So I feel like he'll beat this. They've already caught the girlfriend in many lies. And um, 
she they even have the text where they told her she told them to shoot him and then the brother says he's a dead man walking so i mean they already got preconceived attempted murder by the other party true 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 and i mean another stories are adding up like the brothers are saying that oh you know we got the text message from my sister my sister saying that you know something happened she got slammed twice on the ground by the by her boyfriend her alleged boyfriend so you know i rallied i got my squad we drove over there i just wanted to talk to him but the whole defense team is saying if you want to talk to him why did you bring guns uh why are guns in the situation if you want to talk to him how come we, when you were there um how come you were there you lied he told the cops that oh uh i just walked up knocked on the door and he came out shooting that's not what happened we have a witness saying that you came with four people you jumped on him then uh travis's brother came out you jumped on him too so that's the reason why you know travis ran into the house got his gun and started doing what he had to do which is i mean which is crazy which is sad this is what goes to show when these women out here they sit here and be all extra because that's what she basically was she was extra she over here saying oh he put his hands on me and you come over here and shoot this ish up and now she's in court saying oh yeah you know when you mad and you hit it at the moment you, you say whatever you say whatever i mean like yeah you can say whatever and i understand uh I but mean, if a murder happens and then they pull your, your text fuck. and you're telling some someone to murder someone that's like, your that's, you're not you're gonna get in trouble you're gonna get in trouble and they'll be asking her questions like oh well if you feel like you had nothing to worry about why were you looking why were you googling uh stand your ground laws why were you googling up uh can you can you be found as an accomplice if you weren't there but you uh you basically told somebody to do something like you look the neighbor got him right-handed and they said no no the neighbor saw everything that happened he saw them fighting he saw her Mm -hmm. just standing there and not getting into it and he said that they have prior history of fighting outside and it always seems like she's the aggressor always the one slapping him up and he never does anything so i mean she even has a a history and witnesses uh saying that she's the aggressor exactly exactly and also it makes it even worse one of the uh one of the one of her brother's friends went on went on the stand and said you know this is how she is they was like oh yeah so when she takes you and said come shoot this ish up well how do you how do you take that how do you respond because the girl was like oh yeah i don't understand why people would feel like that when i say come shoot this ish up i meant go shoot him up or go shoot his mama up or go shoot the house up or go shoot the brother up I'm like what why else would you say that she's like i meant everything but him like, but then she was like, but why would I say that? She was like, I live there too. I don't want my stuff shot up. Exactly. And she's like, I didn't really mean it. It was just all talk. And it just didn't make any sense. And the and the brother's friend is went on the court and went on the stand and said, you know, when uh when she goes around, she always talks. She always talks like this. When she gets mad, she gets all extra. Uh, she gets all extra and say things she don't mean. So when she said, "Come uh, come shoot this ish up," I ain't taking no mind. I ain't bother with it. I ain't bother with it. I ain't worry about it like that. Cause you know she's always like this. She's always like this. So I mean, we gonna see how this court case goes. I mean, I feel like when it comes he's gonna beat the case i feel like he would if it was all based the body it was based off mannerism he'd beat it because you know she's the aggressor and all this stuff because i mean if she didn't go ahead and say come shoot this ish up i mean i think that's all the evidence you need there she's the aggressor and then you have her text messages which she originally deleted that they had to get from the records of mm -hmm. her telling him to attack him yeah she so if he's being attacked and defends himself you I don't know what you could charge him with. I mean, cause I'm mean, only thing, only thing is because let's say, okay, you, somebody comes to your house, they fight you in your front yard, you run into the house and then you run outside. They're halfway down the block and then you chase them with a gun. That's, and then you shoot 39 times. You can't call at, at some point in time. It's considered overkill. Like it's over. Like you can't shoot that much time. So that's what they basically. We're in Texas. We don't believe in overkill. I mean, this is Florida. I mean, this Florida is like Texas Junior. Exactly. And see, he's in a situation, so he might get off. I mean, we don't know. I mean, one of the friends ended up dying, got shot. They got pulled up. They uh, pulled over. They pulled over to the cops. They lied to the cops. Can you imagine getting packed out, not for your friend, not for yourself, or the girl that you're with. 
but for your friend's sister lying. And then you get packed out by the boyfriend and then and then he beats the case and no one's going to do nothing about nothing. Exactly. And you see what happened. Like he uh, he only the brother only believed everything the sister said because she as soon as he went on stand, the lawyer was like, oh, well, did you see? Uh, did you know that your sister hit him in the head with a trophy, hit him in the head with a uh, hit him in the head with a glass bottle? Did she uh, she broke his PlayStation? And like, I'm like, damn, like that's a lot of stuff she broke. And she in fact, she didn't have with a bottle and a trophy. I'm surprised he didn't get a concussion, but he was like, the brother was like, oh, no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean, like, this is why you don't really just jump to conclusions. And this is why I understand why girls get mad and they say, oh, yeah, we don't we don't like men because men don't help us in the street. You know, like, because women always say, like, yeah. we get attacked in the middle of the street and nobody wants to help us. They want to just keep walking. I'm like, because this is why. We don't you know, know what's happening. You don't know what's happening. I'm going to end up getting shot. My friend going to end up getting shot. And nobody wants to end up getting shot because you are in a toxic situation that you or him should have been left from the jump. Yep. Exactly. And then, like, you know how it always goes. You ever been in a situation where, like, you help somebody in a toxic situation, and then two days later you talk to him, like, hey, so how you doing with that situation? I'm like, oh, we back together. You know, we kiss and made up. He said sorry. You're like, but he broke, you knocked your tooth out. I guess so. You know, like some blue face. Maybe, stuff. yeah. It's a blue face love. It is what it is. That toxic love is what's going on. I mean, I guess everybody acting bad, man. Comment below. Let us know how you feel about the situation. Do you feel like uh, this man should be, Travis should be found innocent and that they really should lock up uh, the three friends the and also the really the girl. The girl should get the electrocution chair because, I mean, what she did was foul. She the reason yeah, why. Yeah, she's not going to get that, but she should get in some sort of trouble. Horrible, and she just rude, and like you saw her in the courtroom, she be she be trying to argue with everybody. Mm, you know, judge wasn't having that man, but hey, man, it's real wild. We'll keep it up to date with that.